How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another Ark Let's Build video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this small modern home, which I loosely based off of a cottage by the architect Frank Lloyd Wright. So in this video, guys, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step step with some real easy to follow along instructions, how you can get this build in your Ark. And for all of the building materials you will need, the map location where I built this, and also the paint scheme for this build, check out the description below for all of those. So anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just wanna thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for checking out the video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is lay down our foundation. Now for this, if you're building like I am in the snow, it might be a little hard to see if you are actually placing the foundation. You just kinda gotta trust that you are and place one stone foundation down like so. Then we will just add two more here in front of it to give us three total. We'll go ahead and create one more row of three next to it. Then we're gonna come around here and this time we're gonna create a row of five and it's going to stick out one foundation on each side. So five total, one sticking out on each side like so. Then we'll just add two more rows of five here on this side of that. And that'll give us something like this. And then we're gonna come in here to this corner and we're going to place two more rows of three right here on the corner. And then with that done, that'll be the foundation for this build. Now remember, we do need to leave a little bit of space on the front there. We're going to have a deck on the front, but go ahead and switch all of these to block. Next, we're gonna come over here to the left side and add some pillars. So first here on these foundations on the front, we need to place a wooden fence foundation on each of these foundations. And then we're gonna go ahead and snap three high metal pillars in each corner. Once you have those placed, go ahead to the back of this portion and we're gonna do the same thing. Place a fence foundation on each foundation and snap three high metal pillars in each corner. All right, so with those placed, we're now gonna go around our build and add our walls. So we'll start over here on the left, right here next to this inside pillar, we're going to build three high greenhouse walls. Next to that, we'll add a greenhouse door frame and door and then two high greenhouse walls on top. And then we're just gonna continue around this left side and add greenhouse walls three high until we reach that last pillar. On this next foundation, we're going to build five high stone walls right here. Then around the back side of our build, we're going to start with a row of stone walls here across the bottom. Then we're going to build three high greenhouse walls on top of each of these and finish it off with a row of stone walls across the top to make this five high total. Over here on this side, we will again just build both of these foundations up to five high total stone walls. Then right here, we're going to place a stone wall on the bottom of each of these, followed by a greenhouse wall. Coming around the side, we'll do this again on the side. We'll place stone walls across the bottom with greenhouse walls on top. And we'll also do this on the first two foundations here on the front. Then on this next foundation, we're going to build this one four high with stone walls. In the next spot, we will build three high greenhouse walls, followed by a stone wall to get us to four high. Then on this last spot right here, we will again build four high stone. We'll round the corner and do that again right here, four high stone. Now we're gonna come in here to the front of our build where we have this greenhouse wall, and we're gonna snap a thatch ceiling to the foundation in front of it. And that'll allow us to then get out a single stone door frame and actually rotate the snap point until we're placing it on the thatch ceiling. Then go ahead and add three more on top of that, snapping them onto the door frame below themselves and take it four high all the way up to the top of our wall here. Once you do that, go ahead and pick up the thatch ceiling and you'll see everything stays in place. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add one more down here below them to take it down to the ground. And this will give us kind of a more narrow, modern window here on the front. 
So we're gonna go around to the back where we placed that kind of big window of greenhouse walls. And we're gonna do the same thing on all of these, except we're gonna be taking it five high total. So go ahead, come here below the greenhouse wall, place down your ceiling, and then start snapping your stone door frames on top of your ceilings. And then, like I said, we're gonna take this all the way to the top. So you're gonna to need to add three more on top of these, and then all the way to the bottom, you'll need to add two more below them. Now over on the left side, we're gonna do something similar. So come in here and place your thatch ceilings again down below the greenhouse. And this time we're gonna use metal double door frames and again, snap them to the thatch ceilings and then go ahead and build them up to the top of our greenhouse. Now this time we're not gonna build them down into the stone foundation. You're just gonna build them up on top of the greenhouse like so. So go ahead around this entire greenhouse section over here and do this on each one. Now over here on the right side where we have our one high stone and then one high greenhouse, we're gonna go in here and snap a thatch ceiling on top of the stone and below the greenhouse. And then we are going to use that to snap a stone railing on top of the thatch ceiling, just one high here in front of the greenhouse wall. So go ahead around this entire right side where we have the one high stone, one high greenhouse and do this. All right, now we're gonna start filling in our ceilings. So back here on the very back of the build where we have the five high walls, we're going to add a row of metal ceilings across the back here, and then another row in front of that. Then we'll go over to the left of that, and we're going to bring this down two stone walls from that ceiling. Then here on the front, we're gonna bring it down one on each ceiling. Now we'll go to the front where we have the four high walls, and we'll place three more metal ceilings across the front right here now make sure you're placing these so that they are in line with each other be careful with the multiple snap points and then once you have that first row placed we're going to add two more rows of three right here to connect us with our wall over here so place two right there two right here and then two more right here then we're going to come over here to the left side again and we're going to place one stone wall down from these ceilings on each ceiling and then we are going to go ahead and fill this area in with metal ceilings. Then we're going to head over to the right side. And this time we're going to take two stone walls down from each of these ceilings. And then we will just fill in this area as well with metal ceilings. Now our home is looking kind of boxy on the top. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add a lip around all of our ceilings. So first here on the right side, we'll come in here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to place a metal ceiling snapped on top of the walls below it. So like so, we can place that right there. And then we will add another one on the left of that, just barely going into this stone wall here. And then we will continue around placing these all around the side. Now make sure you're rotating them if you need to, to make sure they line up with each other and take them all the way around until we have one going a little bit into the stone wall over here. Now with that lip complete, we're gonna head over to the left side and do the same thing. So again, we're gonna place a metal ceiling on top of the walls right here, place one more going into the wall a little bit there, and then continue around this ceiling, lining them up with each other until we get a little bit into that stone wall on the back.
Now we'll go ahead and do this large roof up here on top. So we can go ahead, we'll just start right here. Doesn't really matter where you start. We're gonna go around this entire large roof up here. Now remember, make sure you're rotating them so they line up, otherwise it'll look funky. And we're going to take this until it's going into the stone on the back one time. So basically the same thing we did on the lower levels, do that on this level as well. So stop right after this one. Go ahead to the other side and add a few more on the other side until you get one into the stone over here as well. And then we're just gonna go ahead and do this topmost ceiling. Now this one, we're just gonna take a line of these all the way around. All right, next we're gonna build up the patio here on the front. So first in front of our door over here, we're going to place two stone foundations right there. And then we will go ahead and add another row of stone foundations here on the front until we reach the end of our build. And then you can go ahead and switch these to block. I'm gonna do it off camera after this. Now over here on the left, we're going to place a stone stair on these two end foundations. And then we're just gonna start adding metal railings all the way around this. So we'll place two right here place one going down the stair and then also place a stone railing underneath the stair to kind of fill that in. Go ahead to the other side of the stair and do the same thing and then just continue to place metal railings until we reach the end of these foundations. All right, now we have a few things to do on the inside before we finish the build. So first, right here when we come inside, where this pillar is on the corner, we're going to place three high stone walls next to that. Then on the next foundation, we're gonna add two high stone double door frames and a wall on top. And then on the last foundation, we will go ahead and place three high stone walls. And this will just kind of create an entryway when we first come into our building before we get into the actual home itself. Now over here, where we have the two high walls. We're gonna go ahead and section this off with two walls right here. We'll add two more walls on the next foundation and then on the last foundation, we will place a stone door frame, a reinforced door, and then a wall on top. And that'll section that too high area off to kind of make it a bedroom for us. And then the last thing we're gonna do, we have some messy looking ceilings from where we created those lips on the outside. So first we're gonna come up here to this high point and we're just gonna fill this in with six total metal ceilings. So go ahead and place them. It's going to be two going across in each spot six total to fill that top part in and get rid of that lip. Then for this lip over here, we're just gonna go ahead and add more ceilings between them. It'll kind of create almost like a frame above our door anyways, and you could also place some artifacts or something up there. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll just place ceilings between these to kind of create a shelf that we can place stuff on top of over there as well. All right, guys, that does it for the building portion of this video. Now for the paint scheme, I'm going to paint the greenhouse black. I'm going to paint all of the metal black, and I'm going to paint all of the stone except for the foundations and the stairs with the brick color. And I will also leave that paint scheme in the description below. So guys, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to apply the paint scheme. I'm going to add some decorations. Hang around for one second, and I'll show you what I come up with. All right, so I've gone ahead and applied the paint scheme. Like I said, the paint scheme is in the description below. If you wanna copy it, check it out down there. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys some decorations that I've done. So I've added some benches here on the front for us to hang out. I've added a little bit of clutter here on the front. In this entryway area, I've added some storage to kind of frame our entryway and kind of make it more homely. I've added a table and some chairs in here as a dining area. We've got some storage up there to look like shelves and we've got a dire wolf on display here since we did build in the Arctic. And then I've created a large sectional couch over here to kind of create a living room here in our modern build. If we head inside the bedroom, I kept it pretty simple. We've just got some small storage there in the corner. I created a double bed with some nightstands and we have a bookshelf in here as well. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this build. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build in your art. Guys, if you did enjoy the build and you did enjoy the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Those help my videos get out there, which, of course, helps my channel grow. 
Also, guys, leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think about the build in the video, and also, what are some future builds that you might want to see. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and check out some other videos, and if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for future ARC Let's Build videos. Anyways, guys, I just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and have a great day.